What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Blake's Take with me, Blake Neiman. And after a long tournament full of madness and crazy ups and downs, twists and turns, the once field of 64 is now down to just four. We were able to witness four amazing games this weekend, which declared the winner of each respective region. The first team to punch their ticket to New Orleans was Villanova, who was able to hold off Houston from making their second consecutive Final Four thanks to an outstanding defensive display. Coming into the matchup, Houston was averaging 75 total points per game, but they were only able to muster 44 on Nova as the Wildcats had held the Cougars to just 17 of 58 from the field and a miserable 1 of 20 from three-point range. It marked Houston's worst shooting performance from the field since 2013-2014 season and its worst mark from beyond the arc in over a decade. For a program like Villanova that has been built up by its offense, it speaks volumes that they were able to still find a way to win in a manner that they are not normally accustomed to. What speaks even louder though is the consistency of this program to execute in the postseason. With the win, Nova is now headed to their third Final Four in the past six seasons. The last two times around, the Wildcats were able to finish it off with championships in both 2016 and 2018. Could 2022 be the year of the Wildcat once more? Maybe, but they're going to have to get through Kansas first, who in a tale of two halves was able to move past Miami and clinch their spot in the Final Four. The Jayhawks trailed by six at the break, but coming out of the half, they were an entirely new team as they tuned up the intensity on both ends of the floor, outscoring the Hurricanes 47-15 to in the second half in an epic turn of events. Kansas has been consistent in being able to find a way to fight through adversity both in the regular season and now in the height of the pressure in the NCAA tournament. This will be an important trait for this team as they now take on Villanova. Nova got the best of Kansas in each of the last two times they have met in the Final Four. The Jayhawks will hope to end that trend and advance to their first national championship since 2008. They will be met with one of the two Blue Bloods from the other side as Duke, who has continued to just get better and better over the course of this tournament, was able to get one step closer to their ultimate goal of a national championship with a win over Arkansas in the Elite Eight. The Blue Devils already achieved their first goal of becoming the West Regional Champions after yet another impressive offensive performance. Duke shot 54.7% from the field and ruled the paint against Arkansas. Thanks to this offensive efficiency, the Blue Devils were able to effectively maintain their distance from the Razorbacks and rolled to their first Final Four since 2015. For Coach K, it is his 13th Final Four appearance all-time, which eclipses the great John Wooden for the most in history. To make the story even better, Shazetsky is going to get one last shot at UNC after they were able to finally put an end to St. Peter's incredible Cinderella. It seemed as if the Peacocks had finally ran out of magic as the Tar Heels dominated from the start on a 27-9 run and led by as much as 27 in the game. Armando Baycott was a force to be reckoned with, with 20 points and a whopping 22 rebounds, becoming just the fifth player since the tournament expanded in 1985 to record at least 20 points and 20 boards in an NCAA tourney game. But nonetheless, this loss takes nothing away from the unreal run this St. Peter squad has had. This team took down John Calipari and the Kentucky Wildcats, snapped Murray State's 21-game win streak, and then went on to upset Purdue to become the first 15 seed ever to make the Elite Eight. But most of all, they reiterated what this tournament is all about. Madness. The Peacocks were able to turn everyone's bracket upside down and make for an unforgettable run that will live on in March Madness history. Thank you, St. Peter's, for inspiring us all with your incredible effort, belief, and unwillingness to give up no matter how much the odds were stacked against you. With all that being said, we are still left with a very special treat in the Final Four in the best rivalry in college basketball, Duke, North Carolina. It will mark the first time the two rivals will meet in the NCAA tournament in their 258-game history. And what a time for it to come in Coach K's final season. While both games have had their ups and downs this year, right now they are both playing their best basketball of the season, which should make for a game for the ages. 
Each team got the best of one another during the regular season, with most notably UNC coming away with the upset victory in Cameron Indoor Stadium in Coach K's final home game. Will the Blue Devils be able to avenge their loss and advance to the national championship? We will find out Saturday night in New Orleans in a Final Four that will bleed blue. Hope you all enjoyed that. What an incredible slate of games. And we got the best of them all. Villanova, Kansas, UNC, and Duke. 17 combined champions in them all. And 11 combined between Duke and North Carolina. It's incredible. What it, what a talented Final Four we have. 0.1% of brackets actually had them here. But it's a bunch of great programs. And it's going to be a bunch of great games. I can't wait to watch it. You can tune into all the action and more here on Blake's Take. On Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and or YouTube. Whatever you may enjoy. Subscribe and like to stay up to date. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a wonderful day.